warm greeting to one and all dear friend myself dr rajendra kishore welcome you all in the today session under our tutorial programming logic and technique where we are going to discuss about the algorithm so before that first of all we will see how to perform the addition of two number orally suppose if i am asking you what is the addition of 2 plus 2 so of course your answer will be 4 then when i am asking you what about 8 plus 7 so it is after a second you may say the answer 15 and in case of the third case okay if you want to find out the additions of these two numbers of course you will require some more time so let's see one by one again so 2 plus 2 you are given answer or we have thought answer very quickly in case of the second case you are taken as some second while in case of the third you are required more time in order to solve this particular additions of these two numbers so obviously it means the time may vary from person to person in order to solve this particular problem now when you are going to solve the same problem using a machine it will take a same amount of time okay so computational time to solve above problem will remain what the same irrespective of the complexity of the number it means whether it is a two digit four digit no issue okay it will take the same amount of time in order to perform the addition so now we will see how to write a step in order to achieve this so it means first of all in order to find out the additions of two number what you require you require first of all the two numbers okay assume those two number we are supplying to a uh, a and b once you know the two number what you will do you will perform their addition and will store a result in a say c okay then after performing the addition what we need to do here we need to display the result and our job is what to find out the additions of two number that is over so simply what we will do we will write a stop okay so it means we may call these are what certain instruction in order to find out what the additions of two number so now question arise what is a and b what is plus what is equal and so on okay so here a and b are what they are called variable now why they are variable because their value may change someone may give 2 or 5 the value of a the value of b may be 7 or 8 or something like that it means the value may change the value may vary and hence it is referred as what a variable now here plus is what plus is an operator okay it is an arithmetic operator symbol so you may use minus multiplications or divisions or etc okay then what is a plus b it is called as an expression this part is referred as what the expression and in this case this expression is consist of only two parts and hence it is called as what binary operations okay where the a is one of the operand while b is the another operand then what is equal sign equal sign as assign the result of this after performing the additions of these two the value will be assigned to a c okay so c is also a variable why because as the value of a and b is going to be changed the value of c will also get what change and hence c is also referred as what variable then here accept display and stop we are calling them as a keyword okay of course we will discuss much more in depth about the keyword later on so these are the what these are the steps in order to find out what the additions of two numbers okay so now we will discuss what is algorithm so solving a problem in our own notation so what done by notation here it is not compulsory for me to write accept or display or stop word only instead of accept someone may use read gate or input someone may write print put or write instead of display or someone may use end halt and exit instead of writing what a stop statement it is it means the notation that has been used by a programmer may differ while writing an algorithm from person to person there is no compulsion that you should use only accept display or stop then solving a problem in our own notation to achieve a desired result it means only solving a problem is not enough but you must also get what a proper result okay now it means see that we want to find out the additions of two number but here what we have done i have written here a minus b so of course you will get the result but that result is not a desired result so why it is not desired result because we want to find out the additions of two number but here you have perform mistakenly the subtractions of the two number so remember dear friend the computer will al always produce certain result but you need to check that result is correct or not it means the your manual result and your computational result must be match if the result is mismatch it indicate that the step that you have written may not be a correct now solving a problem in our own notation to achieve a desired result in a certain order or sequence it means not only you should get the result but you should also make sure that the the sequence of the order is correct for example 
in this case what is happening without accepting the values of a and b what you are doing you are performing their addition which is the wrong okay it means first of all you need to make sure that you have accepted certain values then only you will be able to perform the their additions okay then similarly in this case observe that the first step is correct second step is also correct but in the third step what we have done we have stopped the algorithm it means user will never come to know about the result of this additions of these two numbers so you need to make sure that the sequence of the step that you have written is correct okay so now finally we will discuss what is algorithm so solving a problem in our own notation to achieve a desired result in a certain order or sequence is known as what algorithm now what are the various characteristics of good algorithm you need to provide certain input while performing certain operation while solving certain operation if you are already aware about those two number then in that case what you need to do you need to assign those values to a certain variable okay so you are going to accept values only when the values are unknown during the during writing a program second step is define it every step should be proper it should not be ambiguity there should be a proper and clear statement for example if you are going to write the statement something like this 7 divided by 0 which is never going to be possible similarly if you are simply saying add 10 or 20 to a variable say again it is not a clear whether you need to add 10 or 20 okay so such kind of ambiguity statement should not be there while writing a algorithm then make sure that there is a finite number of steps and after which your program is going to be terminate your algorithm is going to be terminate so at a certain time algorithm must terminate after performing all the necessary operation it means you must have a certain statement called as stop which will indicate the our execution of the algorithm is over and also make sure that there is at least one output while writing an algorithm it means every algorithm must produce at least one result either by displaying it or must store a result in a storage media for future use. So this is a complete list of your characteristics of algorithm. And these are the some of the references. And with that, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.